And this is the bottling area. Bottling system is massive. Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming out from Bay of Kosovo. Today I'm super pumped because we're gonna be exploring the Bay of Brewery, the biggest brewery in all of Kosovo. Look at this place, massive. And then after this, we're gonna go to an amazing restaurant to eat some Kosovo delicious food. Are you guys ready? Are you pumped? Yeah man, I have so, like for all my life I've drank Pia Pia and now it's time to see where they produce it, how they produce it. Super excited to go inside and check it. Let's go. I just wanna let you guys know this is a VIP tour. I have exclusive access to see how they make their delicious beer. Albert, pleasure, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, you as well. So what do we do here at Bea? So now we are going to visit Berlin, the best company, the best beer. So right now we're sitting inside their tap room and we're trying some unfiltered Bea beer. You can't get this anywhere else in the world except right here. Oh my gosh, delicious. Wow. Gazor, 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 Gazor. So this is the original. See how it is? Look at that, the difference. Right? This one's obviously just clearer, more of a pilsen. Right? Pirapea use the water of white dream. They bring it here with pipes and they use that quality of water for their beers. Alright, Gazor, let's try it. Oh, Oh, all right, let's go on a tour. Mask on, rock and roll. So right here, guys, we have the brewing process, right? The three main ingredients is malt, hops, and water. Malt, water, hops, right? So it has to go through all this to get to here. We drank unfiltered right here, right? That was what we drank. So then it gets filtered, and then it goes into the bottling system. Once it's bottled, then it's shipped out all around the world. You know, obviously it goes to bars, it goes to supermarkets, etc. And over here, as you can see, come here, come here. Huge, like stainless steel tanks. All this comes down here, and then comes through here, and then goes all the way through to the bottling, correct? And this is the brewing system. It's actually the bottom part. It actually goes all the way up there. Huge brewing system, you know, malt, hops, water, all combined and goes through all this. So complicated, same time, really amazing. So it's not so complicated to make beer, but it is. Over here, we start with the malt process. The malt gets cleaned, it gets steamed, everything happens to it, it goes over here. They add water, so 16,000 liters each of those, here 32,000 liters. Then from here, it goes over there and each of those basically to add hops to it. 16,000 liters, 16,000 liters. So they start with that, put it here to there, filtration and straight to bottling. That is the process of how you make beer in Bella, Bella Brewery. All right guys, next up we're going to the bottling area. This is the best. This is like where the real magic happens. I mean, obviously this is where they make the beer, but this is where they put it into bottles. You see the whole bottling system. It is massive, massive. Look at this building. And this is the bottling area. Bottling system is massive. Over there, the bottles get washed. Over here, they fill up the beer. Then it goes over here, pasteurization. Basically, it goes to like almost 200 degrees. Really, really hot and really cold. And the reason they do that is it has a longer shelf life. Long shelf life means it can be in supermarkets and bars for longer periods. This is amazing. All right, now we're gonna see how they put the label. And that's our tour, Paya beer. Yeah, I'm super excited that I tried, I saw how they make the Paya beer, my favorite beer in our region. I, I gotta say, the, the unfiltered one was, it's one of the best beers I've ever had from a big brewery like this. So good, strong, it get, has so much flavor. Oh man, that was awesome, awesome. Again, another VIP experience. I mean, these VIP experiences are the best. You know, no one does this, no one. We're very lucky. All right guys, 
it's time for dinner. The beer was amazing, but I need a tava. Tava, bread, cheese. Where are yeah, we going? Where are we going? For sure, there should be some meat. Oh, so always, to, always. I'm very curious to see this restaurant. Like, uh, uh, it's called Art Design. It's a name like we don't usually use for a restaurant. Art Design. So let's see what art and design is on the on our plates. Only a five minute walk from my hotel, we have Art Design Restaurant. Look at this place, beautiful. So we have a terrace right here, all wood. And this is actually a bridge terrace because it's a stream, mini stream going right under it, right? So right there, beautiful terrace. Over here we have some firewood. We're gonna go in the back, we're gonna see how they make some food. Let's go, I'm starving, cost of food. Phenomenale. We came to the kitchen to see how they make a really unique dish. She's cutting up eggplant. What else do we have here? We have peppers, carrots. Next step, put everything on the pan, saute it. So after around 30 minutes, the vegetables are all ready. Now she's moving over to a different pot, right? And she's gonna put the beef on top. She's doing the bread now, but she doesn't want to show us the secret. She basically makes the bread look like this. How? We don't know, but she's doing it right now. And there we have it, the bread that is shaped just like the chileshi. Very similar. Then she adds all the delicious vegetables and the beef. So good. Dinner is served. We have a salad, tomato, got cucumber, cheese, onions. We also have this delicious chicken soup. And over here we have the most amazing thing ever. So the bread, right, it's like this. Literally it's like this. And then inside it is vegetables, you got beef, and you have a pepper on top. Amazing. And we have some bread. So the bread good? A little bread. So this is the chicken soup, did you say? No, the soup is more delicious. <laughs> I mean, this is a fantastic soup. So, it's basically like a vegetable soup, and you have these big chunks of chicken. Mmm. Lots of pepper. Oh, it's amazing. We actually haven't had soup on this trip yet. The weather outside is cold. You need this. Mmm. Oh, wow, and the parsley right there. Nice kick. The bone. Mmm. Muy bien. It's fantastic. It's a nice starter. I think what you should do is dip the bread, right? Soak it up. Mmm. I love this. I'm sorry to destroy this beautiful plate, but I love it. Alright, my friends, look at this. This is the dish. Ooh, so you gotta break off a piece, right? Oh, that's what it's made for. Mmm. That bread, delicious. You can taste the delicious roasted like vegetables. Wow. Mm hmm. I mean, I'm a huge fan of vegetables, beef, and this one. It's delicious, and we have also have this incredible pepper. Should we eat this? Mmm, spicy. The roasted peppers here in Kosovo are a little spicier than the ones in Albania. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh man, the juices. It's juicy, it's flavorful, different textures. If I was you guys, I'd break off a piece of the bread. You'd go in there like that. So we did it today with the chapati, right? Bread, beef, veggies. One thing you have to get used to when you come to Kosovo is that everything is very meaty, lots of vegetables, lots of bread but lots of different dishes. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's just say that. Mm. 
one thing we didn't do is we didn't try the amazing salad here. I'm just gonna grab a piece of cheese. That's my favorite part about it. I mean, I like tomatoes, cucumbers, but the cheese. Mm. Mm. It's almost like string cheese. Mm. So good. Ready for link. Gazor, gazor. Gazor. This meal is delicious. It's really filling. What I'm doing next is I'm mixing the cheese with the vegetables and the bread. Half to. Mm. Oh, I love this white cheese. So it's like a white string cheese, really big. Mm. Oh, the mix, fantastic. And here we have the delicious raki, the whole raki from the area. I don't know how the meat tastes so similar to water. Yeah, it's a little strong, but it flows down smoothly. All right, guys, we had an amazing day. We went to the Peya Brewery. Peya Brewery. The biggest brewery in Kosovo. You must try it. Unfortunately for you guys, you can't, you can't try the unfiltered beer yet. That is something very unique. That's impossible. All you can try is to buy from the market a Peya, Peya beer. Yeah, Peya beer. It's so good. Delicious. I mean, it's very, it's Pilsner. It's a light beer, but it's different. I mean, the unfiltered one was phenomenal. I mean, changed my world in terms of like a wheat beer from Kosovo and the water comes straight from the mountain which from is the white dream from the white dream yeah and then we came back and went to our design restaurant so it's like more of a modern restaurant really delicious I mean we only tried a few things but they have so many more things on the menu um, for me I mean just that that plate was super unique yeah. making it into the the hat like this like a little <laughs> yeah like Please, like chelesh. Yeah, it was almost like a bowl. They turned it into a bowl. They filled it up with delicious vegetables, beef, and it was phenomenal. You gotta say though, the Rocky, great. The Rocky here is like water. Oh, what's happening here? And guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Kosovo. Let's go.